Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I am currently getting ready for the day and I figured I would talk to you guys about IVF round two. I spoke about that in the last Q and A and kind of the update situation at that moment, which was we had the appointment set up to talk to the doctor to see what the game plan is and when we can start and all the details. So I officially have all of those details and I am gonna share that with you guys just to kind of keep you in the loop, keep you updated with what's going on. Uh, so I figured I would sit down, talk to you guys about that. And we also have a couple of new makeup products to try. So I grabbed those and I was like, right, let's just chit chat. So grab yourselves your coffees, your teas, whatever you have. And let's start this vlog. Before I get into the nitty gritty though, we're gonna hop to today's sponsor, which is Green Chef. This portion of the video is sponsored by Green Chef. If you guys are unfamiliar with Green Chef, I'll share a bit about them with you guys today. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes, pre-measured premium ingredients that save you time. They have so many options for every lifestyle, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. I am receiving the vegetarian box, love it. Also, it was a super difficult decision to pick which meal to cook this time because they were so good. But when I saw the pasta, I'm a pasta queen. I had to make that. That recipe was so delicious. It is now going to be one of my staples. It was so easy to make. That's one of my favorite things about Green Chef is learning how to throw these ingredients together. Green Chef is always changing up their recipes week by week, so you'll be able to pick from different recipes. And with Green Chef, you get organic produce and premium protein so you can feel great about what you're eating and how it arrived to your table. Green Chef currently has a new protein packed meal preference that just launched which is perfect for a high protein dietary preference with menu items, each containing an average of 40 grams of protein per serving. If any of you at home watching would like to give Green Chef a try, they have very kindly given me a code to share with you guys. Use my code MindyMink60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. And Green Chef, thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now let's head back to the rest of today's vlog. Okay, so the detail is, let me, let me, we're in a hurry also. We have to run out the door in literally 15 minutes. So this is makeup in 15 minutes. So I gotta, oh great. I'm trying to talk to you guys about makeup and life and well, you know what? Let's skip the makeup talk. Talk to you guys about life in 15 minutes. Okay, so we had the appointment with the IVF clinic with the doctor that we used. Um, I'll list the products that I'm using on my face down below. That's how we'll do this. I also don't have a mirror. Um, so he called and moral of that story is he was asking me if I'm breastfeeding and what we're doing with that kind of journey or formula because that does make a difference because if I'm still breastfeeding it means most likely I haven't started a period which I have not I still do not have my period so he said we definitely want to start a period before we can start the journey um and again everything that I am saying might be different and your journey might be different with your doctor as well so take that into consideration make sure you guys are checking with your clinics and your doctors um, but I did need to start a period beforehand. And then he highly recommended I continue on breastfeeding or exclusively, exclusively pumping. Um, he said, if you cut back on the pumping and all of that good stuff, your period will come back if you decrease the amount of times that you're pumping. But he highly recommended I stick it out and continue pumping and feed Liam breast milk until one year. He said, so if you want to like, Liam will be a year in August. He's like, if you want to cut back maybe in July, um, that's fine. And then your period should arrive a month, two months, three months after you cut back. So um, with that being said, really, we're just waiting for Mother Nature to happen and for my period to start. So I will keep you guys up to date with that. He also did say um, that for the health of the pregnancy, like this, the next I don't know what I've got going on here. For the health of the next pregnancy, he also does recommending waiting that full year. So um, waiting that year till Liam's birthday. So one year postpartum, he highly recommends for embryo number two's health and for the health of the 
you know, my body and the pregnancy overall. So obviously like deep down, I'm like, oh, I'm so ready and I can't wait and I'm really excited. But when it comes down to him explaining like, you know, keep breastfeeding Liam, like that's the healthiest thing for him right now. Also, you guys know I am a, a firm believer in fed is best, period. This is just what the doctor was saying. Uh, so please don't take that like formula whatever the route you are going is great but he has encouraged me since breastfeeding has been working for us or exclusively pumping he said keep at it that's the best thing for Liam and it's also the best thing for the next embryo to be transferred one year postpartum you'll have higher success if you wait rather than rush things so obviously I'm going to listen to that advice because I want the best for mama mama Liam in the background I want the best for both of them and the journey entirely. So who knows what could happen? I mean, I am still exclusively pumping six times a day. Like every time Liam eats, I pump. So, but then again, my period could come anyways. It just depends because I'm also getting all of these migraines and I'm like, is it my hormone levels trying to figure itself out and shift back? Because Liam, when I was pregnant with him, I barely had any migraines. He basically fixed my body. He fixed my acne, my hormonal acne, which was horrendous and he fixed my migraines and now the migraines are trying to come back the acne hasn't come back thank goodness but I'm sitting here wondering I'm like uh is my body trying to transition back and I have also this is like a full-on health update so anyways we're waiting for my period so once my period starts it is game on they are wanting me to call as soon as my period does start because then it's like an intense process on day three you have to have like blood work done I have to have that saline sonogram done which a lot of you guys asked previously like if you're doing the IVF journey or if you've done it previously or you're about to do it oh my gosh that saline sonogram for some women can be excruciatingly painful and then for others it's like no but they don't feel a thing and I think it's so crazy how different that is for people because I remember when I went in, I did a video of that day from the first time I had one done. So I'll link it below, but we were sitting in the waiting room. There was another woman in there that was also getting it done. And I remember just, she was so nervous and like upset. And I'm like, oh, you're gonna do great. It'll be okay. You're gonna get through this. And I was like her cheerleader. And she went first and she came back out and she's like, I didn't feel a thing. It was great. You're gonna do great. And then I went in and mine was brutal. I was like, oh my God gosh like excruciating pain um but then it was over it was fine whatever it was a little upset upset a little uncomfortable but we made it through um but anyways I'll have to have that test on blood work done all the all the things start so for now the time being the body is still healing we're waiting on the period and we're just rolling with it so I'm assuming around summertime will be the start of that so I'm excited. And then anyways, I called mm, the doctor about my migraines because I'm like, right, I can't take it. I went to Disney. I had migraine at functioning migraine at Disney the whole day. These are the new products. Um, milk, makeup, lip and cheek. This one is shade dash. This one is shade smirk. Dash is a very light, pretty pink. You guys can't really see. And this one's a bit darker. Um, I'm just going to kind of. I don't know if that's doing anything. I can't see. <laughs> Number one, don't do makeup in your viewfinder, okay? Just doesn't doesn't go well because I can't see what I'm doing at all. Guys, I feel like spazzed right now. Did it do anything? What happened? I don't know. I can't see. And then I will go over that a little bit with the cream blush. Anyways, I'm, I'm scatterbrained. It's because I'm rushing. I'm trying to catch you guys up on things. I'm so sorry if this is like chaotic, but this is this is my brain right now. It's kind of chaos. So he basically said, yeah, you're having migraines. And it's honestly like there's really nothing that can be done. It is what it is, which is so unfortunate. But what can you do? So he did ch change my migraine med for the first time in a very long time. I've been on Rizatriptan forever. And he actually put me on a new migraine med, which... Oh, again, using the viewfinder for this. Oh, Lord. Um, I had to call Liam's pediatrician and check to make sure that that medication, the new one that they gave me, is safe to take while breastfeeding. So I'm waiting on that answer. And then I also got Flonase because he's like, you definitely have allergies. It is, what, again, it is what it is. There's not much. 
I mean, you can do other than try to take the Flonase and try to take the migraine medication and hope to God it works because nothing else nothing else works. So that's the health update. Now this is a new product. It's the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. I've heard amazing things about this mascara. I have tried it three different times and love it. One of the problems that I have with mascaras is it always transfers underneath and leaks, probably because of the concealer. I just always have that problem where I end up with darkness under here. This does not do that for me, which is insane because this is not a waterproof product. And I've also heard that there's a serum in here, I think, that helps your lashes grow, which is amazing and it conditions them. So it's kind of like a bomb product, really. It does amazing things for, me, for your lashes and it's it works, it's great. The only thing I will say is sometimes it does like transfer up on my lid when I'm applying it. So you have to be careful with the application, but it is a really, amazing product so let's just pop on some of this i think we're just gonna do some uh oh clear eyebrow gel and call it a day and hustle out of here okay i'm not gonna do the bottom the bottom row today because we're running out the door i just it's quick daytime look i use the nyx glue i've also used the benefit clear gel and the Anastasia. I think the Benefit is probably still my favorite followed by this. I actually really like this. This is great too. Um, those are my favorite. Such a, a loud engine start. There we go. Cannot believe I am using the viewfinder and hoping for the best with this, but it's working out for us. Okay, there. And then my highlights of choice for today is gonna be the Becca Lilac Geode Shimmering Skin Pressed Powder. Guys, this is super old. I've had it for years, like before I was on YouTube or when I just had started YouTube. It was when I was working at the doctor's office still. So that's fun. It's like a little pinky kind of shimmer. I guess I'll just kind of toss that up there. All right, and that's it. That's what I'm doing for today. Calling it a day. We are done. Love it. Today, we are headed over to pick up my mom because we are officially going to pick up our new puppy, which is very, very exciting. Technically my mom's new puppy, um, but family puppy, we'll call the puppy the family puppy, but we are so, so excited. She's a rough collie and we don't know the name quite yet. We think we might, but we will see. I'll let you guys know when mom gets here. Um, in the car. We have Liam with us. Actually, today is the day after our Disney trip, which was really lovely and great. We are, uh, we are tired. Eyeballs are squinting, but we're doing good. So it's like two exciting, fun events back to back. And just have to say, so excited to have the little man who's back there with us again. We missed him so, so much. It is about an hour and a half drive. What? Larry's uh, driving? Oh, and yeah, Larry is driving. Uh, that is partially so I could film <laughs> and like get an intro. Second is because I am so exhausted and not that Larry isn't too, but I'm, I'm taking migraine medication literally every day and I'm just so worn out. Anyways, we're not gonna whine about that. We're not gonna explain all that. Oh, you thought it was your turn, didn't you? You got excited, you saw the green air, and you're like, ooh, let's go. But, um, let's go. anyways, a quick recap on Disney. I saw, Larry and I saw so many babies, like, like, week old babies up until like forever, and I was like, ah, I don't think we're ready for that, and blah, 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 and then I'm like, man. And of course, personal parent choice, but I saw all those babies there and I'm like, you guys go, like go mom and dads, like amazing. Everybody did so well. And I was like, should we have brought Liam? Like I had that, aw, sorry, my camera's in your way at the mirror. But I was like, now I really cannot wait to bring him. It was nice to kind of put our toes in the water, you know, literally, cause it poured, but um, just to kind of <laughs> see the vibe. <laughs> Been hanging around you too much yeah. <laughs> um it was just such a fun experience and we're really excited to take liam when he's ready uh and when we're ready of course but it was really fun seeing all the parents i feel like since we've had a baby i was looking at all the parents and all the little ones and larry and i were like oh that's so cute oh that looks like liam's age or that baby's liam's age and it was just super super cute 
thank you to everyone that made our Disney trip possible. Yes. And thank you to everyone that recognized us and came and over said and said hi. hello. Yeah, it, it was so lovely. Yeah, it was so lovely to meet you guys. So if you said hello, thank you so much. And um, yeah, just very exciting back-to-back -back days for sure. So cheers to picking up our new little fur ball and we'll see how Liam gets on with the little puppy. Happy puppy day. Are you excited about the puppy? How come when it keeps turning off the car and turning it on again? Oh, it's not. We're not turning it off and turning it on. It's the new, like the new thing. All new cars do that. Your truck doesn't do that? No. It's Your not, yours doesn't do that at the traffic lights? No, the Dodge doesn't. Good for them. I mean, that's why it's doing that. It does a lot of things. I think Dodge is my favorite so far. Out of Ford, Chevy, and uh, definitely the Volkswagen. And no, it's not as invasive. I feel that. I always but, hit the button when it turns off, especially but, in the summer and the heat. Your car goes off in the middle of an intersection when it's 95 degrees on asphalt, not a good time. We're always hitting the button to turn it back on. I don't know if there's ever a good time on asphalt. <laughs> no, especially in the heat <laughs> or the freezing cold. It's oh my gosh! Puppy day! Bye. There's all these pillows and blankets for you. Doesn't she look like a little kid again, getting yeah. her toy? Getting her little pup. Ah, cuties. Hello. That was nice. Such Hi. a gentleman. Hi. Hi. It's a very shy, they're very shy. Yeah, they're so, I love shy, that's cute. She's so cute. Hey girl. Yeah, you don't want that, which is pretty much empty. Hi, huh? Oops, there's a little step there, little one. <laughs> get his feetsies, get oh. his feetsies. Oh. <laughs> I missed it. Oh no. <laughs> the record button didn't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Leo was laughing hysterically and squealed, then got excited, and all you heard was <laughs> big slap. <laughs> big slap. His hand slapped Larry right in the head or the face. Alright guys, I wanted to pop on here and properly end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching and spending the day with us. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!